This year I brought Papa Boris V2 along with a new bot I worked on with a friend called Sovietsky to Rocky Mountain Steam Fest 2020. And in this event recap we'll just go over how both bots did in their fights. And I want to give a huge thanks to the sponsors of my high school robotics team, uh, Denver 3D Print Company, Blocksmith Technologies, and Colorado Water Jet Company for making Sovietsky along with some other bots that aren't shown here possible. The first fight is Papa Boris against a drum spinner called Mint Chip. A near corner, matching our arena red puppet is going to be a Russian weapon of mass destruction, Papa Boris! Blue corner, are you ready? Red corner, are you ready? He did! Both are up to full speed. Mitchell looks like he might be stuck on the scene and he's ready to go. We've got two very quick bots. This is going to get some good damage going. Papa Boris is good. He's going to be but Mitchell looks like he's still okay. A little bit of rattling here. Ooh, a side shot. But Mitchell is still there. But he just had that fully low ground thing. He's going to be tough to move. Ooh, big hit by Papa Boris there. Next up is Sovietsky against Tubi or not Tubi. Two, one, fight! Alright, to be or not to be is up to speed, and Sobieski does not seem intimidating. Holy oh, f***! That is going to be an exposed battery, and a knock. And now, unfortunately, Pop Boris has to go against DBSC. Papa Boris has gotten pushed on his side. He's doing a lot of damage against the floor. He's lost one eye, but he seems ready to continue the fight. Left by a single cut, still humming, but so is Papa Boris. Some glancing blows. The heights of these two blades are just against one another. We're going to be bouncing. It's going to take a little bit of gyration or off culture and then the big hit will come. What happened here was that the C-clip holding in my motor came out and that's why my weapon assembly and bearing just came all the way out and flung themselves all over the arena. He's going to have to force a KO if he wants to win this one. Papa Boris is caught up against the side here. And then in the last big hit, my wheel comes off and both drive motors are locked up. Next up is a fight against a bot called Spin Cycle with an entirely new chassis and weapon and motor. Uh, and immediately, I leave some wires hanging out and the weapon catches them and rips them apart, so I lose drive on one side as soon as the fight starts. And now it's Sovietsky, still sporting the brand new PLA frame uh, against its next opponent, the Highlander. Navigating that scene, he's going to look for an opening to get Sovietsky in the air. A little grind there, Sovietsky coming at him. Not able to get any bite early. He's got the sides, a couple good hits there. 
Well, they just got a flip there, but it's a full flip. Yep, it's too cool. Hanger has great control in the driving. A good flip there, but oh, what a hit by Sovietsky. Sovietsky's going to have to back over that soon. And then it just misses on the flip there. Sovietsky's difficult to drive with those gyro forces. A great flip by Hanger there. Sovietsky self-rates again. Sovietsky approaches a small foot from Hanover. Another big hit from Sovietsky. He is definitely leading in this uh, damage category. Highlander's is getting those flips, but just hasn't been able to get him on the uh, weapon side down. Making Sovietsky work against the floor. Another big hit by Sovietsky. Highlander may be experiencing some drive issues. Another huge flip. Some great hits here by Sovietsky about halfway through this match. Highlander might be experiencing drive issues. We might have it here. Three, two, one. Knockout by Sovietsky. Now Papa Boris again against Explody, a finger tag fight for kid. Are you ready? This fight begins in three, two, one. Fight! Papa Boris is up to speed quickly, and so is Explody. We have a glancing blow to start. With the different heights of these two blades, it's going to be interesting to see which one can make the grab. Exploding never were missing an opportunity to get the backside of Papa Boris there. Both glancing blows, no one landed any real damage yet. Papa Boris getting a great hit on the back end of Exploding. Exploding doing some very stuff at dancing. Looks like one of the wheels have gotten caught on Exploded. That's going to make it difficult for him to continue driving. Papa Boris not really counting any damage yet. Too much hit there. Not being exploded on its opposite side. And it looks like he might be high centered once he's flipped. He was able to flip back over. Nice movement by Exploded there. One man in 50 seconds remaining. What happened here was pretty weird. When I lost, when Papa Boris lost against DVSC, it put me in the bracket right against Sovietsky, and since I can't really fight myself and didn't want to, I decided to forfeit Papa Boris and push Sovietsky through to the next round. However, uh, in the bracket beneath us, it was Explody versus Question Mark, and Question Mark had to forfeit because of issues of some kind, so I got to fight Explody instead. And when I won against Explody, I was then put in the bracket again with Sovietsky. So that's technically two wins for Sovietsky against Papa Boris twice, both by forfeit. So very weird thing to happen, but hey, two free wins, not the worst thing ever. And now with Papa Boris officially out of the competition, it's Sovietsky versus Drivers and builders' ability to jury with. So, without further ado, we have our ant weight elimination battle, and in the blue corner, here uh, closest to the title, we have Mimi Mouse. In the red corner, we have Sovietsky. Blue corner, are you ready? Red corner, are you ready? This battle begins in three, two, one, fight! Both weapons are up to speed and we've got some aggressive thoughts right from the onset. 
First big hit, Sobieski seems to be there. Oh, no, no, we've got a ceiling bounce, our first one of the day. Another good hit by Sobieski, we've got him on his side. This will be up to him if he wants to unstick his opponent here or leave him up for the KO. We have one unstick, we will use that here. Power down your weapon. Ready, set, fight. Both spots are back at it. It does not look like Mini Mouse's weapon is started. Sobieski, however, looks none the worse for wear. Minute 55 left in this match. Mini Mouse be able to push around. Mini Mouse has the speed, but no active weapon. He's going to have to get very creative. So Vietsky doing some grinding on that side. Minute 30 is remaining. We're about halfway through this match. Good grinding on that left fork by Sovietsky, but really now nice gets the push. A dosey though, where Sovietsky is just doing its best to unhand that fork. And Meanie Mouse once again gets stuck on their own wheel guard, but since it's this late in the competition, I decided to not get them out of that situation and move on to the next round. And now for a grudge match with Pop Boris against Amateur Hour, a two wheel drive vertical spinner. And at this point, I was able to actually smash his receiver from the inside of his bot, and I win by KO. And now for Sovietsky to fight QB, which is 2B or not 2B's twin robot. Whoever wins this gets a guaranteed third place and a chance to win it all. Try to line up a hit on the a third hit by Judy there. Nice to wrap and wrap and hit there with some sparks. He'll be chipping away at the armor of Sobieski. Sobieski appears to be having some trouble with the floor there. One of their drive moves. Some good weapon-to-weapon -weapon contact there. QB trying to move in for a, another hit. So the FC is doing a good job of keeping their weapon facing towards QB, even though they're having issues with the drive.
So that was the last loss of the competition, and now Sovietski is out. DBSC actually went on to win this competition, which is pretty cool. But anyway, fourth place is not that bad, especially for a bot made of PLA. And this is not the end. Boris and Sovietski will both be competing in about a month at ARC 2020, so watch out for that episode. And as always, thanks for watching.